Welcome back to Benny's Custom Works. Today we're down here at Just Engine Management in Ingleburn and we're going to be chucking the Cresta back on their hub diner. Is that enough power? It's 262 kilowatts. Oh, Luke. Yeah. 290 kilowatts, is that enough? Two. Stop. One. Ready to go into a zap and see what happens. How do we go to the lowest boost pressure? It's Target on. boost. It's on it. Definitely on it. 24 pounds. Okay. So we go F2. Space bar. Remember this is what happened last time as well, though, and I went, uh, what? Yeah. That was, oh shit, we just did it, hang on. That was kind of simple. You know, first thousand kilowatts are the hardest, normally. <laughs> That's generally when the guts fall yeah. out of your engine. <laughs> on 10% duty. Yeah, nice. Oh, so there's a little bit of duty in there. Yep. So 24? So it's probably a 22 pound spring. That's cool. That was, oh, ha, ha. bang on 30. I love this computer. This computer or this computer? That one. This one's replaceable, that one's amazing. So that was 30 and that was solid as 36. If you're happy with 36 being the next one. May as well. Because then realistically everything in, the, in between that is pretty happy. Pretty good and... And I mean, that's I where we were yeah. up to before anyway. I don't want to beat the arse out of it every two degrees, like oh, two pounds. Yeah, you know, rather just for just lols. Get, yeah. Kind of the point now where we need to go straight to 40. Do that and see what happens. And then I'm going to go back to 38, the one in between. Yeah. And see where we're at. And our mixtures are at 11 O's if anyone's interested that that's just, and I know that's overly safe for what we're doing, but mm. it keeps it a little bit cooler, things are nice. And it's pulling out three and 4% everywhere up the top, so that's good. And we're at 90 or 8, 90 percent injector duty up there. 90 percent injector duty, which leads me to my next curious problem. That's a lot of injector. What do you think's going on? Have a look at this. So I'm going to bring up a channel here. What's your base fuel pressure? 30 something. That was a 38 bit of a or 36. I'll tell you in a second. So what we're going to do is go, we'll bring up a math channel. Fuel pressure minus manifold pressure gives us our expected fuel pressure. Mm -hmm. This differential fuel pressure number is... Hey. No good. So basically what we've got going on here is we've got... We, we, we are dropping fuel pressure or fuel flow. 
which is going to limit us today. I think we're we're doing the best we can. Pop the boot, Scotty. Uh, Just having a look because sometimes one of the fuel pump circuit breakers clips. Oh yeah. It's about there. All three so, are good. So what's the thought? I've got no fuel. Because base pressure too low, because no. voltage too low. Nah, we've got good battery voltage, so let's just go through and have a look. So there's nothing wrong with the tune-up. It, it, we're going really well. Mm -hmm. Battery voltage is good, mm -hmm. so I'm not worried at all about battery voltage. And fuel pressure, have we got? The problems that we have here are, mm -hmm. it's got no fuel. Mm -hmm. It's got a dead pump. It's got blocked feeds, blocked fuel filters. Something like that. Did the pump set up in this car work? It, has it changed at all? No. Is that how you spell torque? Uh, I believe so. I think there's an extra U in there. Oh yeah, there is too. Dave did that. <laughs> Chua Q. Chua. 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 It's, the, it's the French talk. Oh, Chua Q. <laughs> So what was that at? That's got, let's call it 33, 34. Okay, cool. Um, but we remember how differential fuel pressure works. Mm. So what happens at the moment is that we've got, I'm just gonna go here, 55 pounds of fuel pressure coming up the arse of the injector. Mm -hmm. We've got 33 pounds of boost pressure acting so against only 25 the injector. Pounds of fuel pressure. There's no fuel pressure. Yeah. yeah. Low. So our, fuel, our rising rate fuel pressure regulator normally has a vacuum hose on it, yeah. which in turn brings the fuel pressure up mm -hmm. exactly the right, if it's a one-to-one one, yeah, one to one, yeah. at the same as the boost pressure, but we are not. So essentially we're using injector size. Who's this guy? Oh, my mate Adam. Oh, hello Adam. So, what do you want to do? Just call it done, I think. There's no point trying to break shit. I'm annoyed and we shouldn't be breaking shit because it's very bad and... You're annoyed at? I'm annoyed that it, um, that we can't wind it up. Mm. So, need more fuel? Need more fuel. Pressure? Need more fuel flow. I reckon we've got pressure. I reckon that what's happened. Um, admittedly, Adam does have a fuel flow meter on that shit over there. I know that what's going to happen, mm -hmm. just from the shape of this, yeah. what happens when you run out of Injector is that we get a perfect diagonal air fuel ratio line. So, with experience of ruining a million different fuel systems, mm -hmm. when we run out of fuel injector, we draw it instead of the air fuel ratio being at our 11 0, we run a perfectly diagonal line as the revs, as we increase revs or, yeah. or load. Just that, AFR climbs. That tells me that wow, we're out of injector. Yeah. We're holding air fuel ratio at the moment, but we're running out of fuel pressure. Which means that we're not we're not stuffing enough into the fuel injector. Yes, yeah, so the pumps have run out, not the injectors. Yeah. So this problem could be a variety of things, but voltage at the pumps, it could be we've just lost a pump, the filter basket on the pump, so a supply problem, low pressure supply to the pump. Mm -hmm. uh, we've kinked a fuel line somewhere, and it's got a tiny little fuel supply to the whole thing. In any case, right now, if we take the return line off, put it into a Coke bottle and give it a run. Probably be nothing in it. And by the end, there will be nothing. Um, if we put it through a flow meter, like what we should do, and like we should do with our mainline dyno equipment over there, mm. we're gonna end up seeing two, three, four, five, seven hundred liters of fuel flow down to five liters of fuel flow at the end, which is bad because yes, while we've got equal pressure along the rail, we don't have equal flow along the rail, and this is where we end up Leaning out a cylinder. This is scary stuff. Yeah. Good answers, good information. Sorry, bruh. No, it's not your fault. Seems we've just found the end of it. Uh, like... Warbro 525, I guarantee we'll make 400 kilowatts of the wheels. Mm -hmm. I say it probably, like, yeah, it'll make 500. Just one of them. One. So 400 kilowatts of the wheels out of one 525 on ethanol. Guaranteed. But. GDR, up four wheel drive GDRs making 450, Falcons making 480. Cool. Alright, uh, rejig fuel system, go again. I reckon that's gonna be the go, bro. I'm gonna cool. file, I'm gonna save this. At the moment, I'm actually I'm really happy because um, we've finally got our fuel maps the way that I wanted them. 
I wouldn't have just a mechanical pumper, but I can't actually fit one in there. Yeah, so no, that's... I'm turning on our long-term trims again, but now they should do a whole lot less because all of our scaling is now correct. So I'm really, really, really happy. Yeah, cool. And because of the VE calculation, we've actually done no trimming whatsoever. Yeah, it cool. just works. And then our ignition, I'm not sure, I haven't actually done any ignition because we know that we're in the ballpark anyway. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very welcome. Um, very welcome. I'll just do fuel setup and then revisit it. I am, uh, truthfully, I am annoyed because when you said, oh, just let's go and send it. Yeah, I honestly, I kind of wanted to leave with like 14. Well, what's this turbo called? A 1450? Yeah. I, I was expecting to leave with like 14. A number with 49. a 14. <laughs> um, I think that's flywheel though. I know, but you know how like... You know, They're way underrated. Everyone overrates. Oh, hard. And it annoys me because... Look at the run. Yeah. Like one, Min. two, like do more, do more. Like it's saying... Yeah, just build on it. You're a pussy. Each time. <laughs> We've got building blocks. I am much happier that we did this here now, like this, and ran out of fuel. Because if you went and ran that at the track... Um, Game over. And it has to be working correctly because we've got more than one primary pump. What I'm thinking is... There's only one primary and then two secondaries. Yeah, what I was just thinking... Because there's then. no way to do that on one pump. No, I was if just... If you're thinking if it was one then... Oh, two then one. Yeah. No. 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 Cool. No problem. I just want to... Out yeah, we, get... deliber we deliberately set up one then two for that reason. So if it lost one pump yep, in the secondary, it still had two pumps. Yep. And then if it lost the primary, nothing worked. Yep. All makes perfect sense. So it was sense. good fail safe. Truthfully, I think I'm just trying to look for excuses so that... Um, like, go again. Go again, yeah. <laughs> Alright, well I'm sorry not a massive result, but... Well, it still did a PB here, mm -hmm. so... Oh yeah, that's pretty... Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's pretty... <laughs> it's funny, we're like, oh, it wasn't that great, it's only 1100 horsepower. Yeah, I'll pop that in there again. <clears throat> Had a bit of a mixed result today, um, although we made over 1200 horsepower at Summer Nights in Canberra. Today we've uh, made about 1100, uh, a little bit over 1100 in fact. Um, Scotty just wasn't happy with the fuel pressure. It looks like we may have a failing fuel pump. So at this stage, we're probably going to switch them out for a newer style of fuel pump now. Um, I mean, it is what it is. It's, it's racing. Things fail. Th things break. Um, everything's so highly strung at this power level that we're not going to be using things for five years like you would if you were making 200 kilowatts. So um, it is what it is. I'm not, I'm not upset. I'm not disappointed. Um, still a good result. The car made a PB on this dyno, so um, I think we made 1,090 before and we're, as I said, we're a little bit over 1,100. Um, so yeah, we're going to uh, chuck it back on the trailer and get it ready. We're probably going to give Kenda 660 a crack at this stage, um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, thanks again to Scotty from Haltech and also thanks to Adam and the team at Just Engine Management for letting us use their hub dyno. See you guys next time.